So being born of God is being born of an obedient spirit. Okay? Because if you don't want to obey, what does the Bible say about disobedience? It's children of disobedience. Did you guys know that? So being born of God is being born of an obedient spirit. Look at this scripture right here. My goodness. Children of disobedience. Now, that's not being born of God, do you think? D do you think these guys are born of God right here? Let's look at this. It says right here, in the past, in the past, we walked according to the course of the world. We walked according to the world, the way the world is. We used to be that way. According to the prince of the power of the air. I wonder who that is. Who is the prince? of the power of the air. That's Satan. That's Satan. It says, in the past, we walked according to the world, according to this, this, uh, this spiritual power that now works in the children of disobedience. This is a spirit. A spirit, right? Where, of, of, of what? Let's read this again. According to the prince of the power of the air, this is a spirit, the spirit that dwells, now works in the children of disobedience. Okay, so he's talking about a spirit that is inside children of disobedience. Okay, from, it looks like, the prince of the power of the ear. So we get this spirit from the devil. Now look what it says. A lot of people say you're not born in sin. Well, that's not what that's not what Daniel says or David says in uh, Psalms 51, and that's not what it, um, Paul says to the Ephesians. But he's saying that we receive this spirit through Satan, and we become his children. He's the father. He's the father of this disobedience. He's the originator of this disobedience. Now look what it, look what it says right here in verse three. Um, among whom also. We, we all had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh. We used to do this, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. And look what it says. And we were by nature, we were by nature the children of wrath. By nature. That means it was natural. We were naturally children of wrath. Have you ever noticed you don't have to teach a child how to lie? You don't have to teach a child how to steal. Why is it that two-year-olds know how to lie automatically? Wouldn't that be something if we were just by nature telling the truth? Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be an amazing thing that we could not lie? That we cannot lie? And it's not in our nature to lie. We don't know how to lie. It's not in me to lie. And I couldn't lie because it's impossible for me to lie. Why? Because my spirit won't allow me to lie. I don't even know what lying is. Could you imagine? Well, we can have that. We're going to be born that way. We're being born that way. Many of us are being born that way. And at this, at this stage in our lives with Christ, we cannot lie. Even as God cannot lie, we refuse to lie. We refuse to lie. Now, I'm not saying we're spiritually perfect yet, but we can attain this through Jesus. I'm not saying I'm there yet, but I believe it's possible. I believe it's possible. How many of you believe that you can stop lying out there? Give me a seven. How many of you believe that you can get to the point where you cannot lie? You cannot lie. Does anybody have that kind of faith? where you can get to the point where you cannot lie. I am, I am striving for that, brethren. I'm striving for that right now. I am searching my soul for any fraud, fraudulent activity. I'm searching my soul for any deception, any manipulation. And, uh, you know, e even lying to yourself. Maybe, maybe I'm not fully forgiving my daughter. Maybe I'm not fully forgiving. Maybe I'm deceiving myself in a form of deception. We can have these things. We got to work this out. How do we work it out? We put on Christ. We put on Christ. We put on Jesus. We put him on. And when we put Jesus on, we are at simultaneously crucifying the flesh. 
You cannot put on Christ and remain the old man at the same time. We're told to put off the old man and put on Christ. It happens at the same time. When we're crucifying ourselves, we have to put on Christ to fill that void. Hallelujah.